Welcome to Mouse 8. Here we go with our first case. seem to understand earth isn't yours to conquer what's omni man done here well, he's destroyed an entire planet, and everybody on it. According to Dr. Greg Lowlin, the Earth is worth five quadrillion dollars, so I will assume this planet is thereabouts. And this will be a very ironic charge for murder of all life. Now what? Mark, you have to scare him. Make him think you'll actually drop him. I can hear you! I don't know, that, that seems mean. All right, here, I'll show you. Huh. There, see? Uh, now he'll tell me everything. Okay, but you're gonna catch him, right? Yeah. In a second. Are you talking to recently on fire where's mark william you were supposed to drop him off an hour ago uh amber dumped him and he didn't like my advice and all of a sudden where's eve I estimated the cost to fix the dent on the roof to be around 250 dollars plus you could make a case for intimidation here you thought that could hurt me? No. That was just to get your attention. <laughs> Jesus, Nolan, right for the throat? After everything that we've been through? Keep out of this, Cecil. That was five times total he tried to kill Cecil, but since it was in the same instance, it'll only count for the one charge. You betrayed us! You should have stayed dead. There could definitely be some self-defense argument here, but I don't think Omni-Man can get that, since nothing is really a threat to him, especially not this guy, and his you should have stayed dead. line definitely doesn't give off the vibe of fearing for one's safety. Viltrum was already the greatest empire in our galaxy. We decided to make it the only empire in our galaxy. Once I was old enough, I joined the war effort. It was hard, but I believe in our cause. Some species resisted, of course, but no one could withstand us for long. Soon our empire encompassed thousands of planets, but as our territory grew, our forces were stretched thin and our expansion stopped. While the war on peaceful planets does break the Nuremberg trial and would be considered war crimes, we can't prove Omni-Man had any part of the decision, and we don't know if the laws of combat were obeyed during the takeover or not. We simply do not know. Thank you. Didn't think I was gonna make it. You almost killed him! Instead, you saved him. So much effort. For what? Oh, no!
I could just slap him a death penalty for this, but I want to go one step further and try and calculate the damages. I counted 77 cars, 43 people, plus 77 in the cars. Each car has an estimated value of $20,000, making damages over $1.54 million, plus the death of at least 120 people. Could you do this? That was your fault. No, that was your fault. The average cost of a 13 stories building in the middle of a city would be around $100 million in construction costs. And that's damage Omni Man will have to pay, plus the addition of a death sentence for all the people that died. For the first time in your life, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I think I'm crazy enough to do it. Let's try and count them. With the 7000 series being referenced as it's the subway used in Chicago, it costs 1.58 million per car and I counted 12 cars in this scene. That's 18.96 million for the train and I'll add on an extra 10 million for the station damage too. 